I'm here at Lakeside Village's Outdoor Adventures where this massive 14 by 60 foot wall opened up last Monday and has been a big attraction. And the event usually takes place inside the Shalala Center ballrooms, which fit about 700 people. But now once they moved it to the Watsko Center, they could fit 2,500 people almost 1,800 more. And another barrier that has some potential students frustrated is that students can't even see inside the freshman dorms. UM's housing department rejected our request for an interview, but explained to us in a statement that the RA contract highlights a short list of activities that RAs can't participate in, including NCAA athletics. Since that's going to be another couple of weeks, students still will in the meantime have to walk all the way around Lake Osceola in order to go from Stanford to Frost. I'm Daryl Barnes, back to you guys at the studio. <laughs> On Tuesday night, award-winning rapper Pitbull rocked the University of Miami campus, not as a musician, but as an inspirational speaker. I'm gonna put it together. It's, it's still surreal. It feels like a fever dream that it even happened here. But the dream was almost a nightmare. When the limited tickets were posted, they sold out in just four minutes. And the organizers saw students' excitement turn into frustration. With such a big name like Pitbull, I feel like there should have been a lot more tickets available to students. The problem was, Mirror's group couldn't afford renting a bigger venue. That was until the university admin donated more than $10,000 to her club. And the event usually takes place inside the Shalala Center ballrooms, which fit about 700 people. But now, once they moved it to the Watsko Center, they could fit 2,500 people, almost 1,800 more. I was very happy um, that we were able to listen to student concerns and be able to host more students. We needed more space. As yeah. many people as possible get the full experience. This is Every now. student should have the opportunity. And after the event, students said that the bigger space made a huge difference. It was just a really, really overwhelming experience, but it was really fun because half the student body was like what it felt like it was behind me. But Mira's takeaway? Actions speak just as loud as words. Just knowing that our like university has resources and people that want to listen to student concerns is amazing. For UMTV, I'm Daryl Barnes. Oh, we gotta say that to the Sam Tober has been a UM student for almost two years, but for sophomores like him, Tuesday was a new kind of first day of college. The first one without a mask. Because we've been away from it for so long, it has like a weird feeling to it. Last week, the CDC eased their COVID recommendations, leading the University of Miami to put out an email saying masks will no longer be required in indoor spaces. And initial reactions have been mixed. Felt pretty good, actually. I mean, I was counting down to this day for what felt like years. Well, it was very sudden, I thought. Um, it was kind of out of nowhere. And um, I'm probably going to be wearing a mask for the next few days in class. But students like Sam see this as a new beginning. Everyone was pretty happy and um, excited for like kind of this new chapter in like everyone's college um, experience. It felt, felt like a start of the new year almost. It felt like this is a new beginning almost. And maybe this new beginning will have a storybook ending. I'm hoping that we get to have a smooth ride until our graduation. For UMTV, I'm Daryl Barnes.